feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. We had a great show today with TCP Asset Management all the way in here from Columbus, Ohio. Of course, there's my co-host, Lee Heisman. And as always, you need to go to shrimptankpodcast.com because you had to hear our podcast today. If you want to know one thing that every business owner needs to do with their money, you got to hear these guys. I think it was in segment two. It was really great. As always, go to Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or anywhere. Find us on the internet. You have to hear these shows if you want to be able to start a business, grow a business, run it, and eventually exit. It's the best podcast to listen to. Hey, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming all the way in today. But I wanted to ask you, Phil, tell us a little about the firm and, and how you guys function differently than most of the firms in your area. I think one of the things that we do internally is we really have a collaborative spirit in what we do, and, and we live that on a monthly basis. Uh, we have different touch points as partners with our team, uh, whether it's through different uh, group sessions or through what we call a development team. And it's a time where we can share ideas, implement different things, talk about challenges, and really sort of sift through what we can help create a better client experience for the end user, which is our client families. So I think that that culture and trying to implement that into our decision making, our habits is a challenge, but it's really enjoyable because you're getting a lot of different diversity and thought and perspective. But I would say that that's how our clients feel the difference of what we do on a daily basis is it's driven by the internal communication and development. Guys, we talked on the show today a lot about business, and for a lot of our business owners that are watching the post-show wrap-up, they may be wondering in this gig economy, do I hire somebody who's a 1099, or should I uh, do somebody as a W-2 employee? Do you have some advice for folks that are watching the post-show wrap-up? Yeah, I think it really depends on what type of business you have and your setup, and you know, working with someone like us can really guide you in that path. You know, for some people, a 1099 contractor might be the best route. Um, you know, just depending on the business. For others. Um, you know, it would be a W-2. And, uh, you know, with that, you have to realize that you have to follow all the state employment laws. And, and you know, there's also uh, benefits and, and other packages that could be with that as well. So I really think it just depends on your industry and your in your business and, and how it's set up. And, and working with a qualified professional can, can really give you the input that you need. Interesting. We well, you know a lot of the success of most businesses, and our, we hear this a lot from our business owners, is their environment of their employees, the culture, as mm -hmm. people use. And, you know, I heard earlier, Phil, you had mentioned about sometimes some employees and partners at the firm don't work out. And the way you maintain that culture is to make sure there's a fit. How have you guys built your culture, Phil, uh, at the company and, and really helped you guys succeed? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I think the, the thing that we've had to focus on the most is just from the get-go, surrounding ourselves with the right people. And that means that you know, there's a saying, pe people don't leave bad jobs, they leave bad bosses. And we're not technically, you know, very many people's boss. We have a great partnership between the owners of the firm, and we have great relationships with all of our advisors who, you know, work with us, and of course, our client families. But just focusing again on having the right people involved, building culture, and if there is a problem, uh, you know, eliminating it right away before it become something bigger than it has to be has been key for us. So just focusing on the right people and having a lot of fun together is what, uh, what makes it all worth it. I think having fun is definitely a key. So if people want to have fun and use your services, how would they get in touch with you? They can uh, reach us on our website, which is uh, tcpasset.com. And uh, our phone number is 614-761-9378. I like that. Well Are you done. glad that these guys know how to basically do debits and credits and not worried about phone numbers that are on here? Guys, Very true. you came here all the way from Columbus. I couldn't leave this post-show wrap-up without asking this question. Better coach, Urban Meyer, Jim Tressel. <laughs> B better, better recruiter, Urban Meyer. Better coach, Jim Tressel. Boom! There Is you this have agreement it, on here. Do we have agreement? I'll go Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer. I'm going to co-sign Urban. All right. Yeah. There it is, folks. Senator uh, Tressel. Straight from Columbus, where if you've never taken a trip to the Horseshoe, you should get there one time in your life. It is an amazing stadium. And remember this. You might have to hire a financial advisor at some point. And building your financial plan for your business is like building a house. But the key 
to build a successful house is to have a blueprint. And what the folks do at TCP Asset Management and what you should be looking at is getting that blueprint because once you get the blueprint in place, then you know how to pour the right foundation. That gives you the structure to build an amazing financial house. These are the guys to talk to and that's your post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.